everyone and welcome to another Colours Clearance Challenge, Session 5 this time. And I know at the end of the last video I said I wasn't going to post another one of these, but I had forgotten that this is the one where I filmed with multiple camera angles, so I thought I'd show it as a bit of a demonstration of maybe what uh, footage might look like in upcoming videos if I can be bothered to get the uh, multiple camera ang angles out. So I, I filmed this with a fixed camera, which was my GoPro on a tripod at the end of the table. I did, had, it, had it a bit too close, as, again as the lens correction has uh, uh, put the uh, pockets off as you can see. And then I used my mobile phone on my DJI gimbal to get some of the uh, you know, there's the, the close-up shots and basically I try and show the uh, shot from the gimbal cam and then the sort of context of where the cue ball is stopping on the wide cam, so let's see how it goes. Anyway, you've already seen me put the yellow in and I took this position on the green, it's a little bit far away but it is a nice angle hopefully to get onto the brown. So just as a reminder then, while you watch me miss this green several times about this challenge, uh, this is a challenge where I try and get uh, clearance uh, on the colours from their spots and I try and do it in as few shots as possible, but I try and do it in inverted commas perfect shots in which, uh, in what I mean by that is I try and get the pot in the pocket and I also try and get the cue ball in uh, position on the next colour as you'd want it in a real match situation. Um, so I use my little um, clear plastic ball marker that you can see I'm putting the cue ball on right now uh, and obviously the colour goes back on its spot uh, each time after each miss. Uh, and the captions at the bottom will count how many shots I've taken on each colour. And as you can see I'm struggling with this green, I've left it, I should not have taken the yellow position, I think it was, uh, I was just so impressed that it went in on the first shot and maybe got a reasonably decent position, I probably should have persevered because it's just a little bit too far away than, than what is comfortable and maybe slightly too big an angle compared, uh, you know, um, the distance and the angle combined make it actually quite a tricky part, probably not better than like a 3 out of 10 shot for me. Um, being a beginner, maybe not even that actually. But uh, let's see how many shots I get in. I've taken four so far, and I, haven't, I don't think I've posted it once yet. I can't remember. Tell me. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. But let's see if I can get it in this time. Uh, my hand is on the cushion, which is not ideal either. Uh, it could, it's, uh, could do with the uh, cue ball being a bit further away. But actually, it goes in that time. And the cue ball runs back across uh, past the brown, but maybe just not quite far enough as is ideal. But I do take this position, and as you see, I've already moved on to the brown. Oh, that was close. I thought that was in. Do you think that was in? I thought that was in. I think I thought it was in at the time as well, uh, which is disappointing because I got exactly the position I wanted on the blue. Uh, what about this time? It's a bit of a lean over. There's a bit of a stretch over the table as well for me. Uh, being a bigger guy, it's quite difficult to get over the over the table. Um, you can also see the problems with my queuing there, but it does at least go in. And although it's a bit close to the cushion, it does actually land at a reasonable position uh, on the blue. Just pretty much straight, slightly high to give me a chance to get down onto the pink. You also see I've moved the camera to the uh, top of the table um, with a bit of a higher view as well. So you can see um, this is the kind of view that I want to be able to do more often, but it depends on who else is in the club because I've got to... Uh, build a, bit, a little bit of a stack of tables to uh, get the camera up this high, so not always going to happen. So this blue is pretty straight. Uh, again, I've got my hand on the pocket rather than on the table, which is not ideal. I really haven't got much of an angle here at all. Uh, so, you know, here, you see me there put a lot of topspin on it to try and get it to, uh, you know, kick off the side cushion and down for the pink, but it actually ends up hitting the knuckle because the... Uh, Look at the knuckle of the pocket because there's just no angle. There I put a little bit of side on it to get it over. Get a good pot, and the, but the pink is a little bit... The position on the pink is a little bit uh, too uh, high and I would have had to get the rest out for that and I'm, I'm no good with the rest basically. I haven't done, haven't done rest shots yet in my training. Uh, I had to quickly grab the cue ball there, uh, the blue ball there because it was about to knock my camera flying, which wouldn't have been uh, fun. 
Um, that is a shot that I actually have uh, I have to practice uh, for my top spin uh, straight queuing, <coughs> which is not the shot I wanted at that point. But at least it knows it reminds me that I can actually do it when I need to, which was uh, amusing to me. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I didn't cut my cut this bit out of me walking around and chalking my cue. Maybe be uh, just getting a bit lazy with my editing. That's, uh, that blue looked look like it came back out of the pocket for me, yeah. What about this one? This blue was a real problem, actually. I remember it taking quite a lot of shots because I was, again, trying to make sure it didn't hit my camera gimbal. Uh, I seem to remember that the pot was actually quite easy, but just getting the cue ball to do anything and get anywhere close to the pink was a real challenge. Um, as you see, I'm trying lots of different spins, different... Uh, ooh, I'm also too lazy to walk around the table. Bit of a jump cut there. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying lots of different uh, levels of spin, just uh, and, and maybe even a little bit of side, just to try and get the cue ball to miss that, uh, that pocket there. Uh, so it comes off the side cushion like it did there, but the blue didn't go on, obviously. Uh, also, mess. Look how bad my stance is there. I think it's pretty close to the uh, the stage at the edge of the uh, arena. I say arena. It's not. It's not an arena. It's it's a little club. But yeah, my I've really gone. Let my stance uh, slide a bit just because I'm getting a bit frustrated. Ten shots. Not good. This is kind of why I wasn't intending to show any more of these because they do get. After that successful, so it's really good one on session four, where I, you know, I did, I, I did almost um, a full clearance apart from the brown ball. Uh, they've all been pretty bad <laughs> since then, so uh, that's why I've kind of stopped. Uh, I, I was intending to stop showing these ones and move on to something different. Uh, so this will probably be the last of the colours clearance videos until to, I get to a point where I'm actually closer to being more consistent to close to doing it. Anyhow, the blue goes in, and this is one of those examples where I take a position that uh, is not really ideal, but you know, I'm just getting so frustrated with the uh, blue that I decide to take this long pink. Um, as you see, I'm not even concentrating because I end up putting the pink where the cue ball should be. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, again, a, pos a position on the pink I wouldn't, I'd, I'd rather not take, but just that. The, the bad shot was brown to blue, basically. Um, you know, leaves me this, uh, leaves me that long straight blue, and then this difficult long pink. Uh, as you saw, I got it in the pocket actually that last time, but I'm just trying to work out actually what I need to do with the cue ball to get a reasonably decent position on the black. The good thing about the black is obviously it's the last ball, so I don't have to worry too much about, as long as it's a reasonable position, I don't have to worry too much about where the cue ball is going to go afterwards, and I back myself to, uh, to roll more shots in. Um, after a couple of goes. But yeah, this pink is proving a problem again, so this is going to be a pretty high score, really, considering this is session five. Not great. More practice required. So yeah, as I was saying, this has been the last last one of these uh, where I do it this way around. I'm probably going to retire this particular series for a while until I feel confident enough that I'm getting close to doing a full colours clearance consistently. Um, or, or, you know, I'm likely to get close to it and then I'll change the scope of the video to be just repeat, like, goals at the colours clearance rather than um, using a ball marker and putting the shot back every time, just just until I get a, a complete cl colours clearance. Um, and, yeah, that'll be probably... It may be another series or it may be just one video, depends on how close it is. But I've got a load of other training exercises that my coach has given me to do. Uh, practice routines really, not not training exercises, which I think I could probably turn them into uh, similar kind of challenge videos, uh, you know, beating high scores, that kind of stuff. So that's where I'll probably go. My next video is probably going to be a bit different. Uh, I don't want to spoil what it is, but that'll be sort of a slightly different one. Uh, and then after that, I'll probably do a video showing you sort of a combined video showing all my different practice routines that I'm doing and basically which ones I'm going to turn into videos. I'm probably going to pick two 
and do one per week essentially of each. That's my plan. Anyway, that pink goes in and this shot I've left myself on the black. I take because I fancy myself, even though the cue ball is close to the putt cushion and I'm a little bit lower on the black than I would like. I would rather that than um, be higher on the black, I guess, and close to the cushion. So I decide I'm probably as good as I'm going to get having already taken 10 shots on the pink, so I do actually take this shot. Uh, and I back myself to roll it in, maybe in, uh, maybe first time, but hopefully in like three or four or five uh, attempts, just to get this uh, particular, you know, I, I, I know at this point that I'm nowhere near my best, so uh, there's not much point in prolonging, prolonging the agony anymore, so I sort of just think, let's well, try and just, just try and get this black in from, from where it is. And then, would you believe it, the bloody coin machine runs out of coin just as I roll the black in. And it does actually go in, uh, but you can't see it. So uh, coming up is a replay showing, uh, I've tried to process the image to uh, brighten it up. To hopefully, it's slow motion as well, so hopefully you'll be able to follow the black going in. And trust me, it does go in. So I'm pretty impressed that I actually got this first time. You can just about see it drop in behind that yellow. Uh, caption. I probably should remove the captions for this repeat uh, view, but never mind. And that brings a close to uh, session five. So here's the final results then. And yeah, very disappointing. Thirty-two shots, considering the last um, the last effort was what I don't know, fourteen shots, ten shots. I can't remember. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a while before I beat that uh, session four result. So which is why I'm kind of thinking of. Uh, retiring this series for now until I get good um, yeah I'm pretty pleased with the yellow and brown and the black but everything else was a bit of a shit show if I'm honest but uh, thank you for watching thank you for uh, supporting the channel and uh, if you're new to the channel please remember to subscribe and maybe put the bell on for all the latest uh, rope for a queue uh, videos so you get notified as soon as they come out uh, because uh, I'm not probably going to stick to much of an upload schedule on uh, this this particular channel. It's probably going to be a bit random. We'll see how it goes. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, please do uh, put the uh, thumb on. Is that the right word? No, probably not. Uh, yeah, stick it, stick your thumbs up, however however you do it. And uh, also leave me a comment on uh, if you've got any other sort of practice routines or, or tr something like that that I might be able to ch turn into some kind of challenge. As I say, I've got a few ideas myself, so watch out for that video, and I'll see you in the next one.